Hello, my love. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator and head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary. I'm a professional astrologer and intuitive. I'm really excited because today we're going to be doing something a little different as far as what is it you can expect for this week ahead. If you've been a part of the Bahati Vibe tribe or if you've been a subscriber to the YouTube channel or following me on Instagram, you know that Mondays, the time that is I'm filming this, I would actually be using this time to prepare to go live for Astro Chat Live. Pretty much what that is is a breakdown of a all that you can expect. Um, astrologically as far as how the planets are moving and how they impact you here on earth but again if you've been a part of the body vibe tribe or following me on instagram or subscribe to my youtube channel you know that currently at the time of me filming this for a month i'm on a spiritual retreat a come back to just moment a come back to you know spending quality time those are my two love languages by the way quality time and physical touch with my um, guides and my angels and the divine and as soon as I shut the door and opened another door, shut the door to the world and open the door back up to a more intimate, deeper connection with my guides and with spirit and with the divine, I have just been filled so deeply on so many different levels. It's always transformative. So I don't know if someone needs to hear that message for themselves when it comes to disconnecting from the expectations that the world has on them in ways that is good or bad, the expectations that they that you have on yourself, or if you're just long overdue for a reconnection back to spirit or a retreat or a vacation of sorts. It's totally up to you. For everyone, that message is going to be different. It will hit if it's meant to hit. Okay, so anyways, even when I'm on these retreats, I still find that spirit, the divine, gives me the space to still be of service, to be able to do what it is that I love to do without it depleting and draining me. And today, that's exactly what it is that we're doing. So I have three different piles that I'm working on for you guys. I'm working with, I think it's called the Antique Anatomy Tarot Deck. This was a gift from one of my absolute best friends. Um, he bought it for himself and didn't really vibe with it, so he passed it on to me, which I really appreciate. Shout out to you, Eric. But I'm going to be, you know, shuffling and pulling from these cards, really connecting and allowing my intuitive gifts to, to really, you know, stand out, to shine their light. Instead of focusing on astrology, you know, the astrology for this week, however... There is a part of me that does want to share the planetary changes that are occurring right now because they are, you know, making some waves, some really big waves. One thing that I will say this week is that we do have the new moon in the sign of Leo. I have a full video up for you guys, so definitely check the links down below in the description box so you can get all the details of what you can expect and what energy that new moon has in store for your life. But on, in addition to that, I, I'm wondering, and I'm going to ask Spirit if it's okay if I have the clearance to <laughs> talk about the planets for this week. And again, what is it you can expect? But for right now in this video, we're going to work with our intuition doing a pick a card reading of sorts. I do have three crystals that were standing out to me that I actually have been personally working with lately, especially during this retreat that I've been on, this quiet space retreat that I've been on, spending a lot of time by the ocean, spending a lot of time with my feet in the sand, spending a lot of time in reflection, journaling, and, and that type of stuff, just things that you do when you're naturally on a retreat, especially during coronavirus times when you couldn't travel even if you wanted to, but sometimes the biggest peaks of awareness and revelations that you can have are not things that you have to run to or go to, but allow yourself to sit and it will come to you. So it is what it is. It's a beautiful time that it is right now. As challenging as it is, it is still transformative regardless of what you think it should look like or what you think your transformation should look like. It will show up if you allow it to, you know, invite it in. So the crystals that I've been working with this week for for myself, but also that I want to share with you guys is first the selenite wand. This I've been using to channel healing energy toward aspects of myself, especially my heart, my sacral chakra, my root chakra, my crown chakra. Um, 
to, to, you know, to attract and to support balance and harmony um, and to allow myself to receive healing to be directed to those spaces. So if you feel drawn to the selenite wand, if you, or maybe that's your intention, something that is that you're working for yourself is to direct healing energy, especially emotional healing or blockages. This is the crystal and this, this is the um, crystal that you want to allow yourself to be drawn to and the messages that are there supporting you, which I haven't pulled yet. So we'll see what happens. The second crystal that I have for you guys, I forget the name of this, but it is so incredibly calming. Soon as I picked this crystal up, I felt energy in my third eye, my my crown chakra, and a lot of my face. It was very calming. It this crystal, I don't remember. I think it's some type of ore. I'm gonna see if I can find out, or if you know, you can let me know down in the comments. But this crystal, it almost reminds me of the Seven of Cups, where we have all these options or we have this veil over our eyes sometimes and this crystal I from what I have picked up from it and my experience with it is that despite how unclear things can be or no matter what it is options that you're facing or things how you're looking at things your perspective this will give you the calm truly in this in the middle of a storm so it's really uh, cathartic is the word that is the word that comes through. It's very healing in allowing you to be respectful of the space that it is that you're at at this moment in your life. You know, no matter what it is that that's looking looking like for you. So if you really, if that's again, if that's an intention that is that you have for yourself, or if that message resonates, then this is the crystal and the message that's there for you. Again, I haven't shuffled the cards and pulled the cards yet, but they're right here. Lastly, I have this beautiful tiger conch shell that I've been really loving that I've been using after I get back from the ocean. Um, but yeah, this, this crystal or, or this, uh, shell is not, it's not a stone. It's not a crystal. It's a shell, obviously. But this is really, when I feel this and when I work with this, I feel the power of feminine energy. I feel the power of feminine receptivity, our ability to be un- unwavering in what we allow ourselves to receive what it is that we know that we deserve and uncompromising okay there's some things that we should allow ourselves to compromise on and with and there's some things that we should be really set in our ways with and, and really step into that space of feminine fa feminine power so those are the crystals that it is that i decided to work with so this is number one the selenite wand is um, if you're feeling called, maybe that message that is I shared, that's your, that's, you know, a, a prompt for you to choose that. Or if it feels good when you sit with your intuition, maybe you're feeling something in your hands or your third eye, some tingling. This crystal is number two. And then the conch shell is number three. So I'm going to go ahead and put these aside and go ahead and jump into number one the selenite wand so let me go ahead and put this i'm gonna put it here for right now pardon i hope that the clinking of the crystals isn't distracting because i am on retreat while well, these cards just wanted to come right out Woo! okay because i am on a retreat right now i don't want to spend too much time editing these videos i just simply do not but this week for you guys all right so you're going to have to kind of deal with me shuffling. I hope you don't mind. Wow. Okay. First things that first things first that's coming forward for me, a message that it is that I want to give to you goes a little deeper than the cards that spirit has chosen for you. The three cards that Spirit has chosen for you is Four of Swords, the Strength card, and also the Nine of Swords, I believe. Yes, Nine of Swords. But as you guys know, when I'm working on intuitive messages, when I'm doing tarot readings for my clients, for myself, for my friends, I have always looked beyond the meaning of those cards. I'm going to start with the meaning of these cards for you, but I'm going to go beyond that because there's intuitively information that's coming through that is that I want to share. Again, this is if you chose a selenite wand. The first thing, first card that jumped out was the four of swords. Second is, again, the nine of swords. And third is the strength card. But intuitively, 
what is standing out to me is the purity of these flowers here and the darkness that is found within the nine, nine of swords here and the strength card, the passion, the, the color behind the, the flowers of the strength card. Strength card. Okay, so first thing that I'm hearing and that it is that I'm sensing and what is it I'm seeing is a message that says, be very mindful and aware, again, discernment of what it is that is presenting itself to you. What it is that it looks like, what it is that it sees, how it approaches you initially, what it initially looks like, the mask that it is that it's wearing this week, how it appears is not exactly what it is. I am not getting a sense of someone or something purposely trying to deceive you or pull the wool over your eyes. I'm feeling, I'm getting a sense of a dark, dark night of the soul. So a person or a situation that is not at its highest vibration, but it is trying to make its way to this higher vibration, to this, where it is that it's all of its growth, all these lessons are pulling it into be, but it is not there yet. I'm hearing the word, uh, I'm hearing the word, I don't know why, but they said backlash, backlash. I heard it twice, backlash, backlash. I don't know what that means, but as I'm saying it, I feel as though hearing backlash, backlash twice is one strike, second blow. So I don't know if this is someone that you are dealing with or if it's something that you have been dealing with where you think that, you know, if you take one hit, there's a second hit. I'm almost getting a sense that the dark night of the soul is expecting a third hit, I feel as though that third hit isn't coming in. You're expecting the worst. You also need to take the time in order to heal what has already occurred up until this point, backlash, backlash. So there is two different things that have happened. There are two different things that have happened or will happen this week. I'm getting a sense that they have already happened. Um, two different things that have already happened that were, I don't wanna say traumatizing, but were really revealing to you of other people's intentions or what um, some things that you needed to experience, some things that you needed to see that may not entirely make sense to you, you know, in this space. I am getting a really strong sense this week that restorative activities are everything for you, not only to rebuild your strength, but you need it to calm your anxiety, you need it to calm your angst. This week should be a week of healing. I'm, I don't know why, but I'm seeing, like, I was gonna think it's cow's milk, it's not cow's milk, it's goat milk. Uh, someone is holding, they're bent down by, it's almost very Egyptian, what it is that I'm getting. Um, Egyptian, but also I'm getting Asian. Like I'm getting very, I don't know why, but it's the desert, something connected to the desert. You've been going through this desert. You've been walking through this desert. You almost feel like you're not gonna make it. You feel sick to your stomach. You need nourishment, you need food, you need water. And I am seeing that spirit comes through for you in a way that you question if this, this thing on the horizon, is it a facade? Is it really there? Um, you're questioning, is this really something that I can trust? Is this really something that I can nurture? And I feel as though I'm hearing that you have to create the space. I hear you have to create your bubble. It, I'm almost, oh my God, you guys, I'm seeing, I'm hearing and I'm seeing the space of building a tent, but you're questioning yourself. I don't know if I have the energy to, build, to even build the tent for me to rest in, but that's when spirit comes through. It's not a facade, it's not an illusion, but you have to at least be open to creating this space for you to allow profound healing to come into your life. And this goat milk, I don't know why, I don't know if, that, if the goat is something symbolic um, to you, maybe it's an animal totem or something, but I'm getting the sense that, you know, you, you get the goat milk, you take a sip of it, you're kind of hesitant of it, and then all of a sudden, as soon as it hits your lips, you are so quenched that you just pour it back, you pour it back. Spirit is showing me that even as you've realized that that healing is real this week, even though you realize that this is something else that you need, you still need moderation with taking it in. Allow yourself to be restored, allow yourself to be healed, allow yourself to be nur nurtured and nourished. But at the same time, do that also with ease. Do that also with peace. Do that also slow, slow, slow. Because 
I'm getting the sense that it has been a long journey. You know, I think it's very um, symbolic that Spirit gave me the image of, you know, the, the de like Mongolia. Like, I'm really getting this um, connection to Mongolia, like the Mongolian. I've never seen that. I've never, not in a vision. I haven't seen it in a long time, but out in the Mongolian is it desert? I don't know if that's accurate, but it's it's like you're, you come across, and that's the thing too, is that it almost comes through as like an Ace of Cups moment or a Four of Cups moment, where if you look at the Four of Cups, or the Ace of Cups within the Rider weight, it's this cup that comes out of the sky. That's how this goat milk kind of comes through, is that it's not connected to a person. It's spiritual quenching. It's spiritual, spiritual nourishing. Some of you guys won't even allow yourself to receive it because you feel like, I don't deserve it, or this is not in alignment with my goals. I'm hearing... Okay, I need to be spiritually quenched. I need to have this quenchment. Quen I need to be quenched in this area of my life, but it has to look like this. And spirit says, "I tell you how it's supposed to look. I tell you how it's supposed to how it's supposed to be." Okay, so let me continue. That was a really specific message that just came through, and you have some cards coming through. So we have the star card, we have the emperor, we have the king of cups reversed, and also the high priestess reversed. Okay, so what this is showing me and what this is already telling me, oh shoot, okay, I didn't even see the seven of swords here. This is exactly what is I was saying, that be very mindful and discern. Maybe it's you guys. Maybe it's you guys, because I was going to say this in the beginning, that what it looks like is not exactly what it is that it seems. What it looks like, how it presents, that's not, that's not a warning, that's a blessing. What I'm hearing this week is that you guys think that something is bad for you, that is toxic for you, but it's not. It's not toxic, it's not bad. You just have become so accustomed to being taken advantage of or being caught off guard or when you try to heal yourself or you try to do the right thing, something comes in, swoops in and knocks you off. You feel like you've been taken advantage of. You feel as though you're putting in more than what other people are putting into it. That may simply be the case, but still spirit says, we want to complete this cycle for you. This is the world card. This week, you're going to have the chance, the opportunity to opportunity to complete the cycle and to move forward but you cannot move forward with strength i do see you coming through with strength you have the king of king of wands here this is about leadership this is about power this is about direction this is about knowing your worth knowing your value and having the strength to pull from that space to create and to make moves and to be a leader for yourself and for others I do see that ultimately there for you guys but you can't that can't happen if you're second guessing everything um, something is coming through for me. I'm getting the connection of um, the goddess Isis. Um, I, From what I remember about Isis, she has gone through so much um, loss in her life. And she, you would think that she would be defeated by it. I don't know why, but I just saw an image. I don't know what's going on with the desert, but it's, it's very Asian. It's the Chinese desert. I didn't know that there was a desert in, the, in China, but I think it's... Definitely Mongolia is what's coming through. But I'm seeing this this spider, this tarantula that's under, it's in this trap. It's in this hole in the ground. And it will feel these murmurings of something that'll come out and grab it and then go back into this hole in the ground and just kind of snap back into its little space. I do not think that this is someone else, you guys. I think that this is you. I feel like you have adapted. Again, I'm hearing backlash, backlash. So these these backlash, this thing that you have tried to put out, it came back to bite you. It came back to snap at you. So now you have this guard up that says, I will not allow that to happen again. The thing is, is that spirit is preparing you to receive more. Spirit is preparing you for healing right now. Spirit needs you to be strong. Some of you guys are really trying to manifest strength, leadership, control, discernment, quality partners, quality quality um, relationships, but you can't do that if you're thinking that everyone is out to get you. You can't do that if you are magnifying energy that says, I forgot that I had these cards here. You can't do that if you are thinking that everyone is out to get you, that everything is out to poison you. That was the first thing that it is I said from the jump that, I don't know what this card is yet. I'm going to put it here for a minute, but you can't do that if, you know, everything that you assume face value is evil or bad. In fact, you're hiding yourself. Um, something about the desert is coming through. Um, something about the desert is coming through where you have been in a desert in your life or things have been feeling very deserted, very de deserted, very depleted. So 
spirit has put you in a position where you haven't been seen all the time because it would have made you a victim. But spirit says that at this week is a time for you to connect with restorative activities with goat milk energy, you know, like maybe you are doing a goat milk bath, maybe it's goat milk magic, I don't know, it's very specific goat milk, but um, whether you're a vegan or whether you're a vegetarian or you eat meat, it is what it is, I'm just getting a sense of goat milk um, with a manifestation, I, or it could be connected to goddess energy, but ultimately you're at this point um, where you need to rest and calm, calm down this this space that is expecting the worst for yourself from others because you do, after you come out of this space, you are going to have plenty of opportunities. You're gonna have strength. We have the Emperor card here and also the King of Wands. So this is new types of relationship. And I, I am recognizing with the King of Cups here reversed that there have been people, men and women that have taken advantage of you, that have taken your kindness for weakness, that you have almost punished yourself and penalized yourself for not being able to see clearly but it's almost like you've made yourself avail available accidentally to some to some certain to some things but just like Isis because I'm reminded of Isis again she came back she was reborn she pulled from her own personal strength after death she regenerated herself she was reborn again and I'm seeing after this rest you guys that this this week is a is a space of like crazy rest, r crazy restorative energy, taking bath soaks, not only Epsom soaks, um, like saltwater soaks, but I'm also seeing nurturing fats, fats. Some of you guys are so used to cleansing and removing this energy out of your life that you are stripping away your own oils with the salts that is that you're using, with the smoke that you've been blowing on yourself in your home environment. That's why I think goat milk is coming through for you guys because it's actually nurturing. It's actually waxy. It's, it's very thick. Um, instead of it depleting and like rubbing away the, you know, the bad energy, the things that you've become accustomed to, you are now implementing goddess energy to nurture you. It's like an elixir, an elixir of life. Put to rest all of what and flush away all of what you have been called to rest as you can. But in that restorative space, allow yourself to be buttered, allow yourself to be nurtured, allow yourself to be nourished back to life, back to replenishment in that in a way that feels really, really good to your spirit right now because you need it. Then I'm seeing um, this attraction with the softness, with the fullness, with the thickness. Like it's really thick, it's very luxurious, it's very um, generous with you, it's very generous. And that's when you're gonna get this king of king of king of wands type energy, this emperor type energy, your strength is gonna come back. If it's not you, um, embodying the energy of the king of wands whether you're male or female or however you identify if it's not you that is embodying the energy of king of wands and the emperor i feel as though your nurture your thick thick energy that it is you feel it might be forbidden to you or taboo or you don't even want to allow yourself to receive it allow yourself to receive it because it is exactly what that you need you can even pour goat milk into your bath um it's very venetian energy here it's very jupiter energy it's very neptune energy it's very moon energy. So create a bath soak that doesn't wash away the past and cleanse you of it because you've already done that. Um, it allows the healing to, you know, to be thickened up, so to speak. See, look for a sign. These are the cards that I pulled for you. Let go. See what I'm saying? Look for a sign. Let go. Opportunity. So there is opportunity for you guys. And I feel as though it's by you letting go. This letting go for you does not look like continuing to abrasively remove certain things. I understand that the journey up until this point has been abrasive, that you have been walking through the desert. But when the universe comes through, this opportunity wants to gift you. Okay? It's thick. It's rich. It's abundant. Some of you guys will say, no, 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 but there are signs everywhere saying that it's time for you to be open to receiving this thickness, this, this um, lushness that's supposed to come through your life. I want to hear from Goddess Energy. This is the Divine Feminine Oracle deck, which I've had issues with, but lately I've been coming back to it. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so the joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. This means that no matter what you have gone through, it doesn't even make sense for you to be able to laugh, to smile, to have joy, to even expect blessings that are there to make you happy. The universe, the divine, is showing you to look for the signs that are reminding you that moving forward doesn't have to look awful. It doesn't have to be, to not toxic, but it doesn't have to be so rough. 
rough. That while you're transforming, don't beat yourself up or others up in the process. Uh, the other thing that I'm saying is that I feel a warning sign with this look for a sign card. I feel as though some of you guys, and as I said that, there's a wasp. A wasp just blew, blew in on the window right now. That's you guys. You guys are looking for something to come in and sting you. Looking for a sign. Don't When you look for it, you will call it in. Okay, some of you guys are waiting to get stung. Spirit is saying, let that shit go. There are so many cards here. The world card, the six of swords, saying that it is time to put this energy in the past. It's time to release it. And now he just flew away. But there are so many energies right now that are saying for you to let it go and allow joy to come through. It's very restorative. I'm really getting a strong sense that, okay, so there's no more goddess energy cards that are coming through. But this is who it is. I'm not going to be able to say her name, but she, it just doesn't make sense for her to smile after all that she's gone through, but she's smiling. She's here. She's present, smiling. There's one card. I don't know why this is coming through, but spirit is really asking me to talk to you guys about, what was it? What was it, spirit? Oh, oh, what you, what you see is not what it is. Well, then what is it? Spirit is saying we need to talk about that this week. What do they need to be looking for? Okay, you are healed. I just heard you've done enough. You've done enough. So I just heard, I'm really getting this strong sense that some of you guys are, you've put in so much energy work. It almost is, you know, when, you, when, you're being, when you're called to release, when you're called to do magic, a lot, a lot of you guys are going to the ocean. I was doing this too, um, but I'm not doing it in excess. You go, you go to the ocean, you do these healing bath soaks, you do these healing rituals and salt water, working with these things to, to heal, to release. And spirit says that you have done enough. You are actually healed. You guys are keep looking for these signs, looking for more ways to release, to release, to release. You have to let go of letting go. It's time for you guys to just totally rest and start to fill your cup up. That's the next thing that it is I'm talking about that spirit is coming through is balanced friendships. Your friendships work best when there's an equal share of giving and receiving. This is true maybe also for you guys' friendships, but I'm also seeing the balance of your relationship with your guides, with working with them this week, with what it is that you allow yourself to receive. It can't be you trying to heal yourself all the time. It can't be you doing all these rituals coming through. Some of you guys, spirit is trying to, to speak in, into your life messages of healing, but you are so caught in this web it's not even a web. It, I'm seeing this tar tarantula that comes up and goes, mm -mm, and goes back into it. It's like, whoa, Like, what the hell is that about? What's her problem? Spirit is saying that healing is now going to come to you, come for you through a space of, you know, the joy of abundance, of blessing. It's got to be thick. Some of you guys have it stuck in your way. I'm really getting this message really coming through that some of you guys are stuck in your way of believing that healing looks one way, that it's going to be abrasive to the point where you are hurting yourself and spirit says, let it go. So let me go ahead and see this. See, share the message of love, the daffodil, rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. The thing that is I'm hearing is that some of you guys are not ready. You feel like you're not ready to give to your work, you feel like you're not ready to give to the world, you feel like you're not ready to give to your partner, and you're right. You still need, I'm getting like four weeks, four weeks, you still need about three to four weeks of replenishment time. Give yourself that space with the intention that you are gonna be healed, that your energy is gonna come back, and you're gonna be ready to not only give, but also to receive. Emotional healing, so there is some emotional healing that still needs to occur cleanse your energy you've done enough of that but cleansing your energy now looks like goat milk i don't know what that means for you i typically don't work with goat milk energy but i'm seeing roses i'm seeing lavender i'm seeing goat milk so i'm really seeing a bath of that for you and then this last card from the divine says yeehaw when it comes to choosing who will be in your life i recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others have it your way Special orders don't upset us. The thing that is I'm hearing with that, for those of you guys that chose a selenite wand, is with special orders, there is a special intention that it is that you guys are going to set because there's certain things that it is that you want to feel. But if you block yourself off, so this week is really going to be about restorative energy and sleep and rest, but if you block yourself off from receiving um, you know, all of the, the, the blessings that divine wants for you, 
it's it's just you know it's it just, it just would suck you didn't do all of this work put in all of this energy in order to release to let go and to make space for new in order for you to continue to be in a space of scrubbing your energy and scrubbing your life of these things it's almost starting to get very abrasive so for those of you guys that chose the selenite wand i know that was a really long message i realized that 30 minutes long oh my god Ugh. But, okay, for those of you guys that chose this, um, the Selenite Wand, your week is really about replenishment. It's all about, you know, the first thing that is that you expect of people is not always what it, what it seems, okay? So be very open to what the divine has for you. Whew. All right, so the next card is group number two, those that chose this storm. Okay, I'm just going to call this Stone Storm for now. All right, so what's going through for those that chose my Stormy? Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So very similar. I don't want to say similar. Oh, my, my bad. I have my microphone there, so I don't know if you guys can hear or if it hurts your eardrums. I'm not sure why this is coming through. I'm seeing... Um, I'm seeing... Um, Okay, wow. So I'm getting the image of a rose. And for some reason, I'm seeing a bee on it. I see a bee coming to the rose. I see it looking for... I don't, like, I don't know. The bee has it, obviously, it has a specific intention, but I don't feel like it's going to find it from the rose. It, it hits the rose, it lands on the rose, and then it goes off. I'm seeing the bee going to these different flowers, going to these different things, looking for what it, looking for what it wants, like looking for what it's out there traveling and journeying, you know, for like all of this way, putting itself in harm's way, putting itself out there, risking its ego, you know, to go and find what it's looking for. I'm seeing the bee hit all of these different flowers. There's this really strong message of each each one of these flowers is so different none it's a uh, space of comparison none of these flowers are the same i don't know why but i'm hearing i'm i'm really hearing someone wailing like a woman she's in it's it's like she's in a garden space I'm seeing her holding on to something that she treasures. I'm also, this is a really intense, this is a really intense um, vision that it is that I'm getting. She feels like there, it's a loss. She feels like she lost, like she lost something. It feels very, it varies for each person. She's in this garden space and the, the sense of loss is so great that she, not that spirit is telling her to not feel what it is that she's feeling or not experience what it is that she's feeling. Wow. So we have, this makes sense, eight of cups, the chariot reversed. The Magician reversed. The Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm getting from this is for this week, I'm getting this Spence, look, despair. Ooh, despair. I'm hearing this space of wailing, letting go, soul journey, aura cleanse, the void, wake up. Spirit is acknowledging your journey up until this point. It's almost as if you are going, you're, you're looking, you're seeking. I just heard counsel, like counseling. Um, some, some of you guys might actually need a little bit of counseling. You guys might need a little magic in your life. This can come from a friend, 
I just heard potent. I heard the word potent. There's something someone needs to say to you, something that you need to hear. It's a potent truth that needs to set in, needs to embed in you. Um, you also pulled the strength card and you also pulled the four of swords. So I'm getting the sense that you guys are on this journey. You guys are like little bees. Looking, 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 looking. I don't know what the symbolism of the bee is, like why that is coming through. But you're on this journey and you're like looking for something. And then your car breaks down or whatever it is. This It's a metaphor for this moment in your life where wherever it is that you're sitting right now, it doesn't make sense to you. So you're almost wailing. Where do I go? What do I do? What do what happens now? Spirit wants to acknowledge the journey really and the fact that you feel like you've broken down in this space right now you feel powerless you're not powerless i'm surprised that the hanged man is not here for you because that's what i'm i'm getting i'm really sensing the energy of hanged man all of this look you guys it's so emotional this week is very something emotion like um um a tonic like you guys are getting um medicine you guys are getting medicine. I also, as I was saying medicine, I heard poison. You guys are taking it in. I, it kind of reminds me as a child, I used to hate medicine, <laughs> like taking medicine um, for like colds and stuff or the flu. Um, but the medicine, because of the way that it would taste, but it was there to make me feel better, but I just couldn't swallow it, literally and figuratively. Same thing with my vitamins. Some of you guys are at a point in your life where you feel as though we're broken down, we can't go any further, but what you actually need is a truth. You guys need a revelation, you need a tonic. It needs to be a potent message that needs to come through in your life that will give you back life again. We have the Nine of Cups again. We have the Ten of Cups again. Or not again, but we have nine of cups and ten of cups, you guys. This message, this energy, this thing that is coming into your life, this bee that is looking for you, is looking for you. What I now that I'm thinking about it, the bee sat on the rose. The rose is everything, but it didn't find what it was looking from. Well, it didn't find what it was looking for with the rose. It looked at, at the rest of the garden. All right. So there were other flowers, and you, some of us would look and we would say. Well, a rose is the most beautiful ro like beautiful flower, but if a bee's not looking for a rose, it's not going to sit and land with the rose. It's going to go and find the daffodil. It's going to go and find the sunflower. It's going to go and find the gardenia. It's going to go and find the hibiscus. Whatever the bee is looking for, it will find. Its energy and its vibration and its antenna, its an intuition is pulling it to where it needs to go in order to find what it is looking for, no matter how beautiful that flower is. I'm also seeing the connection between different cultures, different, like the diversity of things that are out there and the idea of comparison. I'm seeing the connection between how some flowers are from certain cultures and can only be found in certain cultures, certain people, certain places at certain times. And it reminds me a lot of how, how different the goddesses are and how different their strengths are. One goddess isn't more important than the other. One goddess isn't more powerful than the other. They all have their own special unique gifts and skill sets that even not everyone worships or builds an altar to the same goddess. So I don't know why, but someone needs to hear that, that that's what you have to really let go of, that there is a point where you have broken down, you're judging your situation. Your situation has brought you to this place this week where you have broken down at the right place at the right time. You are wailing because you feel as though you've had to let go of everything. You're in a new space. You're in a new environment. You're in a new mindset. You're in a new relationship. Maybe you had to let go of some things. Maybe there is some a breakup or a breakdown or whatever it is. That's what's coming through. But all of this has been judgment. All this has been set into the works in order to, for you to find replenishment meaning in a sense that the space that you are meant for divine for you to be not worshipped but just like at certain places you know the goddess if you put um kali ma in the, the goddess kali ma in a, 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 a an environment where people would look at her and look at the color of her skin look at her rage look at her the symbolism of her they would say she is evil, she is angry, she is scary, and they would not want to worship her. In fact, they would call her a demon, but she's not. If you put her in a space where 
her skin color and her message and her symbolism would resonate. She is worshipped. She is given the best of the best because you can see her value. It doesn't take away from her value. It's just the fact that people can see it. What I'm getting is that this week you are being put into a space where you are going to be seen for your value by the people who need to see it, where you can be worshipped, where you can be supported, where you can find bliss, joy, love, wishes fulfilled, calmness, happiness, passion, dreams, wisdom, bliss. All of those things are meant to be yours. Some of you guys need to hear this, that where you were is not where you were meant to stay. Where, what, how you thought things were to be is not what they were. You weren't meant to stay there. You're not, you were not meant to be defined. There are people that were watching you and they were judging you. And spirit says, I'm going to move you outside of this place. And then not only am I going to move you outside of this place, but you're going to, you're, that journey itself is going to be tough. But when you get to that garden, when you get to that space, you're going to bloom at the right time in the right place. And the bee is going to find you. It is going to absolutely find you. Some of you guys are said, well, I tried to manifest everything on my own. The magician card is here. Some of you guys said, I tried to do it. I thought that my power was enough. It's not that your power wasn't enough. It's the fact that sometimes, you know, certain things you have to be moved. Just like how, you know, Kali Ma again was, if she was in the wrong space at the wrong time, people would, would um, demonize her. It's not that her power was insignificant. It was the fact that everyone's trying to demonize her. Everyone is trying to attack her. Okay, um, the cards that I pulled for you, love doesn't have to be near. This brings me back to the chariot card, is that some of you guys have really been on this journey, moving to the place that it is that nine of cups, ten of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of coin, ten of cups, these elixirs. Nine of cups is the card of wish, wishes fulfilled. Ten of cups is happily ever after. Ten of pentacles, ten of coins is about your bank. It's about your security, your wealth that continues to carry on. Don't be misled. Don't be misled. You are not at the right. You have left this space that you would not have been valued. You would have been demonized. Love doesn't have to be near. I believe that you are called or something is being called to you. Just like the bee goes and looks, it's looking for what you offer. What is this? This really, see, things are not as they appear. Don't be misled. Don't look at your current situation and say that love is far away or my blessing is far away or this is never going to come into my life. It is actually on its way to you. That makes so much sense because, and that's the thing with the bee. Remember the bee? It was looking at the rose. It was looking at the gardenia. It was looking at the hibiscus. It was looking at all these flowers in this garden and says, I know that I can smell this flower. I'm going to land on this flower, but if it's not the flower for me, I'm not going to stay with it. Okay, so it continues to carry on. It continues to journey. Okay, this chariot card. There are certain circumstances that it will say it doesn't make sense for it to happen, but you know, don't let it how it looks fool you. Okay, and if if it smells close to the right thing, this rose, it smells like a gardenia, but you're looking for a gardenia. It's not a gardenia. It will go and find the gardenia. So some of you guys say like, listen, don't be misled. Don't don't give up. It's not as if you need anyone. Some of you guys really had to go this journey alone. And that's where it's really been bother bothering you. But when you go this journey, when you say goodbye to whatever it is that you let go of, it wasn't a breakdown. It's actually you're being called to go to the right place where true happiness, true wish fulfillment can come through. Some of you guys need confirmation. Some of you guys need support here. You got the family harmony card. This is showing up twice. You have... Ten of Coins is the is is connected to family, and so is Ten of Cups. Smile, magnify your intention, raise your vibration. Okay, so this is what is that I'm saying. You guys are really putting off a fragrance. Okay, the right people, the right place at the right time will find you. Some of you guys have have gone as far as you can go, but the bee has to meet you halfway, and it will meet you. Okay, you will actually see signs of it. You have the um, page of or knight of knight of wands it is actively looking for you right now so instead of you mourning because that's remember i said i heard i heard this woman wailing in the garden instead of you mourning you know what you had to say goodbye to whether it be family or whatever the breaking down of something that you thought could have been forever realize that it is a setup it is really a setup ultimately to make you smile this is a sunflower here okay simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference that it makes Spirit wants to acknowledge the fact that you have had to simplify your life, that you've had to let go of certain things 
um, and that that can be painful, that that can be trying, that that can be a testing of your faith. But don't be misled. Just because you think that that thing isn't going to isn't going to come and find you, it will. You have two knights here. You have the Knight of Swords, so this is information and messages that are coming through, and you also have the Knight of Wands. Whatever it is that you're looking for is looking for you. So this week, that's what it is that I'm seeing for you guys. It's the fact that you know you're being called to mourn what you need to mourn and release what you need to let go of emotionally, but also prepare for a major um, set intention is that also what it is that I'm seeing. I'm seeing you doing things that make you smile, that make you have joy. See, six of wands, it's, it's success written all over it, but you guys have to de decide, determine what way are you going in. This is two of wands. What do you want? What do you want? Just like the bee is looking for its gardenia, it will look, it'll go to a rose, it'll look to a sunflower, it'll go to a hibiscus, and it'll say, those things are close, but I cannot be misled. I'm looking for the gardenia, okay? So, and that's, you know, that's divine's will for your life. There's this message of truth, this tonic that you guys need to hear that what you have, someone wants. But you guys have to clearly define what it is, clearly two of wands. See what I'm saying? Nine of cups, six of cups. There might be something from the past that's coming through. Um, but really what it is that I'm seeing, oh, I'm sorry, four of cups. I was just about to say, oh, well, six of cups is here as well. Yeah, there might be something from the past. I feel as though, um, you know, it's. I don't know if it's necessarily the right thing. If you left something go in the past, let it go. Like, let it go, let it go. Because Four of Cups says, I'm not happy here. You have to actively decide this week, okay, do I revisit? Do I continue to stay in this space? Or do I pick myself up? Do I find myself in the places that bring me the most joy, the most happiness, that fulfill me and make me smile, make me laugh, so that what is looking for me can see me? Because it is actively looking for you. I'm getting a lot of strong messages from this card saying, from this crystal that says the storm itself was enough and what is looking for you will find you but you have to put your raise your vibration up so that it can pick up the scent and and get to you faster that's a lot all right so i hope that makes sense for a group number three for those that chose this i'm nervous see my bird knows i'm nervous about this one there's a lot of strength behind this crystal or behind this shell this shell is lit as soon as i picked it up my bird started calling out you guys have a lot of energy it's different the last the last cards the last cards that i are the last groups they were a bit more um quiet withdrawn this this is more i'm in your face i'm here i'm ready these cards are even jumping out aggressively so we already know what type of energy we're working with with this this one okay so what did the first card that came through the hierophant and the chariot interesting look what you're doing to my bird my bird is going off look at his energy <laughs> If you go back in the video, my bird was quiet the entire time. See, that's the energy that you're bringing. See how he's getting loud and singing like crazy right now? The other one's sitting there quietly. Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Next card, we have the Devil card. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Tower card. We have the Empress. All right. What I'm getting, what I'm sensing... When I look at the Ten of Swords, I see a woman. Wow, I just got a really powerful message. I see a woman. I see the, she is the ocean. She is the ocean herself. She has pulled all of her energy in. That makes sense too because you're working with a shell here. She has pulled all of her energy in, 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 in. She's pulling it in. She's pulling it in. And then all of a sudden she comes crashing down. And, I, and then she pulls it again. It's like a storm. It's like a hurricane. That's what it is that I'm getting right now, you guys. are Whoa! Like, this is a lot. Like, this is a lot. She's pulling it. She's pulling. Like, she's... Like, it's like this huge hurricane just building up on the... Like, on the, on the shore. It hasn't come in. She's sucking in all this energy. And she's going to come crashing down. Like, and then pulling it in. I'm seeing her pulling in people. 
like you you got i don't know what is going on i don't know what is going on but there are people who are trying to escape there are people who are trying to to swim out there are people who are like riptide there's a riptide that's the energy that is that i'm pulling here the hierophant is here normally this is um a, a card of control this is a, a card of following the rules it's about structure and tradition and i just feel as though this is really about this is my time this these are my rules this is my way i call the shots i'm doing it my way i've had enough like that's how what it is that i'm getting i'm looking at everything right now and i've had enough it's really really strong like it's really really strong energy that is i'm getting i don't know what you guys are doing i don't know what type of you know, work is happening here. This is a really interesting pile here, but I'm getting the sense of the ocean. She just keeps pulling it and pulling it and pulling, pulling in. Some of you guys are really stepping into your power. Some of you guys have had enough. When I look at the Ten of, Ten of Swords, I think I just, I'm seeing all of these blades here, right? Ten of Swords is the card of rock bottom. For you, it's not that it's rock bottom. It's the fact that I have, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to crash in. I'm going to destroy. I'm going to you know, every, if you're not in, you're going to get drowned by it. If you're not with me, you're, uh, my ways are going to take you out. I'm, it, some of you guys are working magic. Some of you guys are setting intentions. Some of you guys are putting your foot down. Some of you guys are asserting your will. Some of you guys are saying the, the rules that I've been following no longer, no longer. That's what it is that I'm getting. I do not think that this is a negative thing. Some of you guys have been literally following the rules. You've been you're, you've had enough. You come in, as I'm looking at this, you have the Tower card, um, you have the Devil card, you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords, you have the Hierophant, the Chariot. You guys are in a position right now where you say, I suck in and I pull in all of my power. This is a revelation. I have had a revolution. I know myself. I am redefining myself. Who I have been up until this point, the rules that I have followed have not served me. And for that reason, I'm going to suck it all in and I, it's going to come crashing down. And if you are in the path, or if you are in the way of my waves, you are not going to make it. Like that's how serious it is. You're either with me or you're without me. There is no in between. Two of Wands is here. You make the choice. You make the call. I'm hearing you guys say that but you already know i'm getting this really like indig indignation this very um it's not unstable it's not unstable it's very focused energy it's you have had the time to make a decision if you're going to be with me or without me and either way i'm ta time is up time is ticking i'm surprised that you guys didn't get the judgment card here but now that i'm saying that you have the tower card so you guys are really pulling in a space if you're if if you haven't done this spirit is calling you to do it that you have been following the rules for too long they do not serve you they know what they have they know who you are. They know your gifts and your talents. They, but if they are still wavering, if they are still trying to have you a second option, if, if they haven't decided on you, then you are going to continue to pull in your power and, and, and it's going to come crashing, crashing down. That's what the tower card here is. I do not see that this is you guys are a victim of this. I feel as though you are the ocean herself. This has been building up for quite some time. Some of you guys, maybe. Some of you guys, maybe. It's you might be um, in the waves of the ocean. You know, this pull. There might be some circumstances that are giving you anxiety. Again, it's there's there's these different extremes. You're either the ocean or you're in the ocean. But either way, something is happening here. If you're the person who's in the ocean, you feel like you're getting pulled in by these circumstances that are outside of your control. If you are the ocean, if the if you are the type of if you pull this card or if you pull this shell and you are the ocean, you are taking the power into your hands and they have they have idled for too long. I don't know who they is, but they have idled too long. You have decided and you are giving them short time. Time is out. Time is up. If they have idled and they don't know if they're coming or going, look, you guys. Be assertive. See? Success. This is the wave. Abundance is bringing it in. You can't sit idle, you guys. You can't sit idle. You know what you want. You know what you're about. You also have the Empress card here. Don't forget. We also have the Three of Cups. There's a space of pregnancy here. There, you might. Someone might be very pregnant. The, this assertive energy could be the planting of the seed, so to speak. And it's successful. And it's abundant. 
So, but, or some of you guys are actually recreating. I'm just getting a space of ocean. It's very unavoidable. It's unignorable. And I'm seeing you stand, stepping deeper into your power. Some of you guys are saying, listen, you've been, you've been trying to fool me and I, you're not going to fool me anymore. I see who you are with clarity, who you are, and I know what I want. And I'm not going to sit here and wait for you to make your mind up. I'm moving on. That's that assertive energy. That tower card, some of you guys need to get that shake. Some of you guys need to, to give that shake to someone. You know, some of you guys need to move forward. Again, you've been following the rules. You've been doing what's expected of you. But now the ocean is pulling in. She's pulling all of her energy in and she's about to come crashing in. And for the majority of you guys, if you pull this card, you are the ocean herself. And if you guys are not, you've been sitting too idle. Spirit is not being very compromising with you right now. If you have been sitting idle, spirit says, well, what did you expect? You didn't make the choice. You didn't make a decision, so I made a decision for you, okay? So even as I'm saying that, and I'm also getting the lover's card. I don't know why, but I want to shuffle from the romance angels card from this last deck. I don't know. Something is coming in. Like, I really am feeling as the ocean waves are getting pulled back, there's little something that's left. You have, like, two seconds to run in and grab it and come out. I don't know what that is. So let's go ahead and look. I'm really getting this from. Okay, so I feel like I should be pulling three cards from this. Well, there you go. <gasps> See? I knew it. Children. This is about children. What is it? You're forgiving and learning. Keep an open mind. Codependency. You guys are breaking free. Give your relationship a chance. That's the thing. As these waves are pulling back, you have realized and you have seen that you have been codependent on trying to give this person, trying to give this thing a chance. But you have so much on the line right now. You have these children. Keep an open mind. See what else is out there. That's when the ocean waves pull back. You know what you see? You have clarity. You say that I have I've tried too long to give this relationship a chance. It's not that I love you anymore as much as it is I'm codependent. I'm afraid. All right, if this is not a relationship, this is something that you need to see is that you've been giving it too many chances. Time is up. If you stay there, look, it says addictions are affecting your life. It says romantic life, but addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, so really what this is saying is that whatever it is that you're waiting for, tick, 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 time is up, ding. If you stay in this space of wavering, it's not, it's no longer you trying to put effort into it. You trying to build it. It's actually codependent. It's actually you being afraid of pulling into your power and doing it your way. Some of you guys, again, like I've been saying, you've been following the rules for too long. So you break that dependency. You're no longer codependent on the rules and you make, you make your way now. You can forgive. You can learn from it. You can forgive yourself for staying too long or forgiving others for not having the potential or whatever, or forgive the situation, but you learn from it. When you know better, you do better, and you get the heck out of the ocean when it starts pulling up, or else you're gonna get crashed into her waves, right? I'm also seeing children here. You guys are you guys are birthing something. That's what is on the line right now. That's the risk for you. Is that if you don't get out, or if you don't, you know, you know, say like time is up, if you're not assertive, if you don't speak up on what the Empress wants. You know, what she needs and her success, and what where the success will come from, this abundance, you will miss the ability to create. So that's what's really coming through. So what do we have here? Prepare to be astounded. I'm not even surprised to see that. What would love do? That means what do you love? Okay? Love is different than codependency. Sometimes love means you have to let it go. You have to be free. You have to free yourself so that you can create, so that you can have a chance. That's where this revelation is coming through. Revelation, revolution. It is very forceful. It is very direct. Time to make a demonstration. There's all these signs that are say time is up. Now's the time to do it. Some of you guys are really taking that first step. Some of you guys are really taking that first step. Oh my God, look. First step, did I not just say that? Breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easier to take the first step. Emphasis on the word breaking down. Breaking down. It is going to be so successful. You are the one to break it down. You also have the tower card breaking it down for you. It is time. Okay, balance, work, rest, and play. It's important for you to have fun along with your with fulfilling your responsibilities. Okay, so I'm getting the, the amount of work and energy that you've put into or maybe too much play. I don't know. Everyone will be different because this message is um, general. 
financial healing. So there's abundance out there. Keep an open mind. There's something that is being created here. You have everything that is that you need. You have everything that is that you need. Okay, wow. Sometimes the good is hidden. The waves are pulling back. When you are assertive, when you are assertive and you call your will and you call your way, what that good, instead of that person wavering and idling or this thing idling and waving, you open the door for something that was hidden from you because you were codependent on somewhere that you stayed in for too long. Okay, change is always good. See what I'm saying? This is a week of major change for you guys. This is a blessing. It's good. The power behind number three is wild. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. That's what it is I'm seeing for you guys this week. Holy guacamole. There's a lot going on there. I love it. I'm here for it. Please make sure that you do share this video with your friends and your family. Make sure that you do subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.